Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, Pounding Selvala, Heart of the Wilds. This is a mono green combo deck that looks to put a big creature onto the battlefield so Selvala can make a ton of mana. Zack's opening hand contains a Wild Growth, Besaju Who Endures, Cavern of Souls, Manglehorn, Return of the Wild Speaker, Scale Up, and his London Mulligan is a Castle Garenbrig. Next, we have Brandon, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Krom Ludovic's Opus. This is a combo deck that looks to use Ad Nauseam to help assemble Thassa's Oracle and Underworld Breach combos. Brandon's opening hand contains a Toxic Deluge, Soul Ring, Bloodstained Mire, Jataxian Probe, Time Twister, Watery Grave, and his London Mulligan is a Plateau. After that we have Mike, piloting Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This is a ramp deck that uses Kinnon to generate a lot of mana and cheat big creatures onto the battlefield before winning with infinite mana combos. Mike's opening hand contains a Tropical Island, Mana Confluence, Mox Diamond, Mystic Remora, Mox Amber, Hullbreaker Horror, and a Colossal Sky Turtle. Finally we have Cruz, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Temna the Weaver. This is a mid-range deck that wins with Thassa's Oracle or infinite mana combos. Cruz's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Mox Diamond, Soul Ring, Watery Grave, Mental Misstep, Cyclonic Rift, and a Scalding Tarn. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and check us out on TikTok. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified of when we publish more videos. Without further ado, let's kick off this bombastic barrage of Ballistic Bonanzas. Zack wins the one-legged race and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Besaju who endures. He casts a wild growth. He passes to Brandon. Brandon draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an underground sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. He ships the turn. Mike draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Mana Confluence. He casts his commander, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. He casts a Mox Amber. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Mystic Remora. In response, Cruz pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering Mystic Remora. Mike ends his turn. Cruz draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Watery Grave. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Elf as it enters. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Manglehorn. Manglehorn resolves and destroys Cruz's Soul Ring. He ships the turn. Brandon draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He pays two life to cast a Taxi and Probe. He looks at Mike's hand and draws a card. He casts a Grim Monolith. Unfortunately, he forgot about Manglehorn, so Grim Monolith enters tapped. A very sad Brandon ends his turn. Mike draws and plays a Command Tower. He does nothing else and passes. During his upkeep, Cruz loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He moves to combat and attacks Brandon with Timna. Brandon takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Cruz pays a life and draws a card through Timna. He casts his other commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He ships the turn. Zack draws and casts his commander, Savala, Heart of the Wilds. He ends his turn. Brandon draws and plays a Watery Grave into play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. Brandon passes. At the end of Brandon's turn, Mike flashes in a Hullbreaker Horror. The table gets a massive sense of horror as Brandon passes the turn. 
Mike draws and casts Phantasmal Image. Hullbreaker Horror triggers and Mike bounces Selvala. Phantasmal Image resolves, entering as a copy of Krom. He moves to combat and attacks Cruz with Krom. In response, Cruz casts Swift Reconfiguration targeting Mike's Krom. Krom triggers and sacrifices itself through Phantasmal Image. In his second main phase, he channels Colossal Sky Turtle return Mystic Remora from his graveyard to his hand. He casts the Remora, Hullbreaker Horror and Krom trigger. Brandon draws a card and Mike bounces Krom. In a repeat of turn one, Brandon pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering the Remora. Mike goes to scream into a pillow and ships the turn to Cruz. During his upkeep, Cruz wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Brandon with Temna. Brandon takes it and in his second main phase, Cruz pays a life and draws a card through Temna. He casts a Mystic Remora of his own. He passes to Zack. Zack draws and recasts Selvala. He casts Finehorn Elves. He attacks Brandon with Manglehorn. He gives the turn to Brandon. Brandon draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Toxic Deluge, paying 8 life. Mystic Remora triggers and Cruz draws. In response, Cruz activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing an Ancient Tomb onto the battlefield tapped. With no other answers, Deluge resolves, wiping the board. Next, Brandon casts Time Twister and Cruz draws through Remora. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library and draws 7. He casts a Mox Diamond and Cruz draws again. Diamond resolves and Brandon discards a Polluted Delta. He ends his turn. Mike draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. For the third time, he casts Mystic Remora. Remora triggers and Cruz draws. Finally, with no answers, Mike's Remora resolves. He casts a Finehorn Elves. He ships the turn. During his upkeep, Cruz wins his Mana Crypt roll and then pays for his Mystic Remora. He draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He recasts Thrasios. He passes. At the end of Cruz's turn, Zack casts Force of Vigor for its alternate cost, exiling a green card, targeting both Mystic Remoras. Both Remoras trigger, and Mike and Cruz draw. In response, Cruz casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Force of Vigor. Mike's Remora triggers, and he draws. Fierce counters Force, and Cruz passes, discarding to hand size. Zack draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He recasts Selvala. He casts a Mana Crypt, letting Louise and Mike draw through Remora. He gives the turn to Brandon. Brandon draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts a Gamble, letting Cruz and Mike draw. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Brain Freeze. He casts Ad Nauseam and Cruz and Mike draw. In response, Cruz taps Ancient Tomb to help cast Intuition, targeting Mike. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Intuition resolves and Cruz reveals a Savine's Reclamation, Grand Abolisher, and a Force of Negation. Mike gives him Force of Negation. Still in response to Ad Nauseam, Cruz casts Force of Negation, exiling a blue card, targeting Ad Nause. Force resolves, countering and exiling Ad Nauseam. Brandon passes the turn. At the end of Brandon's turn, Mike casts Worldly Tutor. Remora triggers and Cruz draws. Mike fetches up a Seedborn Muse onto the top of his library. During his upkeep, Mike lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Bark Channel Pathway. He recasts Kennen. He casts Seedborn Muse. Mike ships the turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Cruz casts Snapback, exiling a blue card, bouncing Seedborn Muse. Mike discards the hand size and the turn moves to Cruz. During his upkeep, Cruz loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. In response to his Mystic Remora, he casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Silence onto the top of his library and then lets his Remora die. Still in Cruz's upkeep, Zack casts Beast Within, targeting Cruz's Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb is destroyed and Cruz creates a 3-3 Beast. He draws and casts Silence. In response, Brandon flashes in a Dress Down. Dress Down enters and Brandon draws. Then Silence resolves, locking out opponents from casting spells this turn. Cruz casts Culling Ritual. It resolves, destroying all non-land permanents with mana value 2 or less, and Cruz adds 8 black and 6 green. He casts a Praetor's Grasp. He searches Brandon's library for a card into exile face down. He casts a Demonic Tutor through Praetor's Grasp, fetching up a card into his hand. He casts Peer into the Abyss. He draws half of his library and loses half of his life, rounded up. He plays a Command Tower for turn. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He casts a Mox Opal. He casts a Soul Ring. He holds priority and then pays 2 life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Soul Ring. Still holding priority, he casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, targeting Mental Misstep. Misstep is countered and Cruz creates two treasures. Soul Ring resolves and Cruz casts Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters and in response, he casts Tainted Pact, exiling his library. Oracle's trigger resolves and Louise wins the game. What a cool win from Cruz. The team wanted another, so they went again. In this game, Brandon brings back Timna and Krom, and his opening hand contains a Brain Freeze, Mana Confluence, Mana Vault, Mental Misstep, Misty Rainforest, and his London Mulligans are Final Fortune and Ottawara Soaring City. Mike brings back Ken and Bonder Prodigy, and his opening hand contains a Yavamaya Coast, Gemstone Caverns, Misty Rainforest, Bloom Tender, Springleaf Drum, Arcane Signet, and a Treasure Vault. Cruz brings back Thrasios and Timna, and his opening hand contains a Mystical Tutor, Imperial Seal, Felwar Stone, Bloodstained Mire, and his London Mulligans are Fierce Guardianship, Force of Will, and Force of Negation. Zack brings back Selvala, Heart of the Wilds, and his opening hand contains two Snow-Covered Forests, Finehorn Elves, Survival of the Fittest, Relic Golem, 
Wirewood Symbiote, and his London Mulligan is a Mouth of Ronum, and Brandon gets to start us off. But Mike has a pre-game action putting Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Yavamaya Coast. Brandon draws for turn and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps it to help cast a Mana Vault. He passes. Mike draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Bloom Tender. He ships the turn. Cruz draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He ends the turn. Zack draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He casts a Finehorn Elves. He passes to Brandon. Brandon draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. He moves to Krom Bat and attacks Cruz with Krom. Cruz takes it, and Brandon gives the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. He casts a Springleaf Drum. Krom triggers, and Brandon draws. He casts an Arcane Signet. He ends his turn. Cruz draws and plays a Mana Crypt. He casts a Time Twister. Krom triggers and Brandon draws. In response, Brandon casts Force of Negation, exiling a blue card, targeting Time Twister. Force counters and exiles Twister, and Cruz passes. Zack draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He casts Wild Growth, enchanting his forest. He casts his commander, Savala, Heart of the Wilds. He ships the turn to Brandon. During his draw step, Brandon takes the damage to his Mana Vault. He plays a Volcanic Island for turn. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast his other commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Krom. Mike takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Brandon pays a life and draws a card through Timna. Brandon ends his turn. Mike draws and plays a Treasure Vault. He casts Wandering Archaic. He passes to Cruz. During his upkeep, Cruz wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts a Felwar Stone. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. Krom triggers and Brandon draws. He ships the turn. Zack draws and casts a Relic Golem. Savala triggers and Zack draws. He taps Savala for 6 green. He casts Survival of the Fittest and Brandon draws through Krom. In response, Brandon casts Pact of Negation, targeting Survival. Wandering Archaic triggers and Mike copies Pact, targeting Survival. Mike's Pact resolves, countering survival, then the original Pact fizzles. Zack casts a Boreal Druid. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, bouncing Finehorn Elves to untap Salvala. He recasts Finehorn Elves. He plays a Snow-Covered Forest and gives the turn to Brandon. During his draw step, Brandon takes the damage through his Mana Ball. He draws and plays a Command Tower. He attacks Cruz with Krom. Cruz takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Brandon pays a life and draws a card through Timna. He casts an Arcane Signet. Brandon passes. At the end of Brandon's turn, Mike sacrifices his Treasure Vault, creating two treasures. During his upkeep, Mike pays for his Pact of Negation. He draws and activates Kennen. He looks at the top five cards and puts a Nezahal, Primal Tide, onto the battlefield. Savala triggers and Mike draws. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cruz wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, plays a City of Brass, and gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Brandon casts Enlightened Tutor. Nezahal and Archaic trigger, and then Brandon taps Mana Confluence to pay for Archaic, and then Mike draws. He fetches up an Underworld Breach onto the top of his library. Still in Zack's end step, Zack activates Relic Golem, milling Brandon for two. The table goes wild as Brandon takes his turn. During his draw step, Brandon takes the damage through his Mana Ball. He plays a Forbidden Orchard for turn. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Krom. Mike takes it, and in his second main phase, Brandon pays a life and draws a card through Timna. He casts Rite of Flame. Nezahal and Archaic Trigger, Mike draws and then copies Rite of Flame, adding two red. Then Brandon adds two red. He casts Dockside Extortionist. In response, Cruz activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Flusterstorm into his hand. Still in response, Mike casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card. In response, Brandon hard casts Mindbreak Trap, targeting Force of Will. This is when Brandon remembers the Wandering Archaic on the battlefield. Archaic and Nezahal trigger, Mike draws, and then Mike copies Mindbreak Trap, targeting Mindbreak Trap and Dockside. Trap resolves, exiling both spells. Brandon ends his turn. Mike draws and casts a Void Winnower. Salvala triggers and Mike draws a card. He casts a Mana Crypt and Brandon draws through Krom. He plays a Seagate Reborn into play untapped, paying 3 life. He casts Seedborn Muse. He attacks Cruz with Nezahal and Wandering Archaic. Cruz takes it and Mike passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Cruz taps his City of Brass to help cast a Mystical Tutor. Nezahal and Archaic Trigger. Mike copies Mystical Tutor, fetching up a Cyclonic Rift onto the top of his library. He then draws through Nezahal. Then Cruz fetches up a Windfall onto the top of his library. Mike untaps his permanence with Cruz through Seedborn Muse. During Cruz's upkeep, Mike casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. In response, Cruz floats a black and two colorless. Zack activates Salvala, floating six green. Still in response, Zack activates Wirewood Symbiote, bouncing Finehorn Elves to untap Salvala. He then taps Salvala for another six green. Cyclonic Rift resolves, bouncing all non-land permanents. Cruz draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Cruz's turn, Zack casts Nature's Claim, targeting Mike's Mana Crypt. Mike draws through Nezahal and then chooses not to copy it. Nature's Claim resolves, Mana Crypt is destroyed, and Mike gains four life. 
Still in the end step, Mike activates Kennen. He looks at the top five cards of his library, failing to find. The turn moves to Zack. Mike untaps his permanence with Zack through Seedborn. Zack draws and casts a wild growth, enchanting his snow-covered forest. Nezahal triggers and Mike draws. He recasts Boreal Druid. He recasts Finehorn Elves. He recasts Wirewood Symbiote. Zack ends his turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Mike activates Kennen. He looks at the top five, putting Tide Spout Tyrant onto the battlefield. Mike untaps his permanence with Brandon through Seedborn Muse. During Brandon's upkeep, Mike activates Kennen, looking at the top five, putting Hullbreaker Horror onto the battlefield. Brandon draws and then casts Toxic Deluge, paying nine life. Nezahal triggers and Mike draws. In response to Deluge, Mike casts Unsubstantiate, targeting Wirewood Symbiote, triggering Tight Spout Tyrant and Hullbreaker Horror. He bounces Cruz's Underground Sea and then Toxic Deluge. Brandon taps Forbidden Orchard to help cast Mana Vault, giving Cruz a spirit. He taps his Mana Confluence to help recast Toxic Deluge, paying nine life again. Nezahal triggers and Mike draws a card. In response, he discards three cards into exile through Nezahal. Toxic Deluge resolves, killing all creatures. Brandon ships the turn. At the end of Brandon's turn, Nezahal returns to the battlefield. Mike draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps Ancient Tomb to recast Kennen. He casts Rhystic Study. He moves to combat and attacks Brandon with Nezahal. Brandon takes it and Mike gives the turn to Cruz. Cruz draws and replays his Underground Sea. He casts a Mana Crypt. Rhystic and Nezahal trigger and Mike draws two. He casts a Felwar Stone and Mike draws two again. He taps the City of Brass to help cast Windfall, triggering Nezahal and Rhystic Study. Mike draws from Nezahal and then declines to draw through Rhystic. Windfall resolves and each player discards their hand and draws seven. He casts a Mox Diamond and Mike draws two through Nezahal and Study. Diamond resolves and Cruz discards a Scalding Tarn. He casts a Mystic Remora and Mike draws two again. He gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He recasts Selvala and Mike draws through Rhystic. He passes the turn. During his draw step, Brandon takes the damage through his Mana Vault. He draws and casts a Jeweled Lotus. Cruz draws through Mystic Remora and Mike draws two through Nezahal and Study. He plays an Exotic Orchard. He sacrifices Jeweled Lotus to help recast Temna, letting Mike draw. He taps his Mana Confluence, going to one life to help cast Thassa's Oracle. He pays one for Rhystic. Thassa's Oracle resolves and Brandon looks at the top two cards of his library. He puts one on top and the other on bottom. He ships the turn to Mike. At the end of Brandon's turn, Mike channels Colossal Sky Turtle, returning Force of Will to his hand. Mike draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Soul Ring, letting Cruz draw. He casts Basalt Monolith and Cruz draws again. He taps the Monolith for four colorless through Kennen and then untaps it for three. He repeats this process for infinite colorless mana. He casts a Mirage Mirror, paying for Remora. He presents a loop of Holding Priority, activating Mirage Mirror, targeting his Command Tower and Basalt Monolith, and then is able to tap it for any color and then untapping it, generating infinite mana of all colors. He activates Kennen, putting all non-humans from his library onto the battlefield, including a Thrasios Triton Hero. He activates Thrasios, putting all lands onto the battlefield tapped and the remaining cards into his hand. He casts a Finale of Devastation where X equals 420,069, giving all of his creatures haste. He moves to combat, attacks for lethal, and Mike wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a series of games tonight. Congrats to Cruz and Mike on their wins. In Game 1, Cruz played it slow, drawing a lot of cards with Thrasios and Timna, and then waited for Brandon and Mike to tap low before going for the win. In Game 2, Mike kept playing Haymaker after Haymaker and eventually got there with the Basalt Monolith combo after everyone else spent resources dealing with his board. The most valuable card in tonight's games, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, was Nezahal Primal Tide. It drew Mike so many cards and even survived a board wipe thanks to its activated ability. It's an amazing card if you can cheat it onto the battlefield. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.